Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. I apologize for the video clicking off when it did there, Gemini. But where we left off was with the Ace of Coins, where God is going to be gifting you something here. You're going to be divinely blessed. And what God intends for your life, no person can take from you. Next card out for you is the Walk in the Good Way. So you're being told to continue on the path that Jesus is leading you down. Do not allow anything to stray you from your path. You know, this person is probably going to try to cause lots of issues within the family and drama, but just ignore them and keep walking on the path that God is leading you down. Now, the next card that came out for you and Gemini, this card flips out for you a lot. And you got the shooting star life purpose once again. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know that you are a star seed and you are an earth angel, which is basically the same thing. And this is how this toxic family member sees you and with them seeing you this way it's bringing out their inner demons because they are you know very low vibrational they're coming from an unclean spirit so they will target you because you are a star seed you're an earth angel so with being a star seed you know here it's letting you know that you could feel like you don't belong and you could find it you know a difficult you know fitting in with others and if this isn't a family setting, then perhaps you really feel like you don't belong within, you know, your family or within your significant other's uh, family. You know, perhaps they uh, make you feel like you do not belong. And, you know, especially if they're coming from a demonic energy, you know, they're going to target you. So it's letting you know that a earth angel, you know, basically the same thing as a star seed. You know, at once we were pure light living close to, you know, God. And so it's hard when we're transitioning here on earth in a way, human form. And, you know, when you're on a subconscious level, you're used to dealing with the angelic realm, you know, dealing with, you know, pure heavenly beings that are, you know, good, you know, and good natured and kind. And, you know, that's installed upon you. It's ingrained within you. And then you're dealing with toxic, you know, worldly people, you know, that are working on a demonic uh, vibration. It's, you know, hard to adjust. You know, it's like living in a neighborhood full of friendly people. And then all of a sudden you're moving into a neighborhood with people that, you know, just hate you and treat you really bad. So it's kind of like a, um, you know, a, it's going to be a, you know, a shocking experience. And it's going to take, you know, time to adjust. And, you know, most earth angels kind of really never fully adjust. And that's a good thing because if we were of this world, then we would not be of God. Now, it's letting you know that, um, you know, on a micro level, we are all stardust, you know. So the ones that are of God, especially, you know, you have that divine uniqueness to you. And it's letting you know that feeling like an outsider, um, you know, can make you feel like you're not, you know, valued by the world especially within, you know, toxic family members, you know, and people that don't understand you. And it's letting you know that you're going to eventually be around, you know, a group of people that, especially I see there's someone here that loves you deeply in the cards, that's going to see you for the wonderful person that you are and see you for your spiritual, you know, gifts and, you know, the fact that you are an earth angel and treating you with the respect you deserve. And it's letting you know to stay firm in your strangeness and, you know, regardless of the disapproval of your family or authority figures or society, you know, it's letting you know that your your hobbies or whatever it is that you do that's unique is going to be distinct and it's going to be noticed by the right people. Um, medicinally, the star seed, you know, used to be used by, um, you know, certain Native American tribes, but it's kind of lost to lost to us as to what it exactly did medicinally. So if you feel like you're, you know, outside, you know, that's okay. You know, I mean, as far as like feeling like emotionally outside, not connecting with these people, you know, that's, that's normal. You know, this person who's coming from this demonic energy knows that you are a star seed. And if they want to make you feel like you don't belong, that's fine. But I do see you coming out of that energy, you know, where you're starting to feel like you belong, you know, at least finding your connection here with God, where you have like some type of sanctuary where you're feeling peace, you know, within your own family ties. So don't allow this person to try to disrupt your, your family. And what I mean by that is like your family that you have created, you know, with your uh, significant other, you know, or your, with your child, you know, however it resonates with you, your animals, you know, wherever it is that you feel like you have created a family, don't allow this person, this toxic person to try to disrupt it. So just stay within your peace, stay on the path that Jesus is leading you down, and you will feel like you belong here, you know, as long as it's with um, your connection to God, and that is where it's supposed to be. 
All right, Gemini, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.